No more of that dancing. What's up gamers, my name is Lucy Cannon and welcome to a game called Grim. Now I found this game on Steam and I think it was free, at least the first act is. Um, so we're going to jump in, we're going to play this game and uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a, like a real rendition of a fairy tale game. Um, like nowadays they're all, they're all dolled up, they're, they're all fancy and lovey dovey. They never used to be like that. And you see I got saved like a gameplay right here. I went in and I, I recorded it. And, you know, it it uh, it messed up. So I have to go in. I have to redo. It like got corrupted or something. So I have to re-record it. He may be in short a dunce and not worth our notice. But here's an account of such ignorance that makes the boy out to be interesting and nearly clever, if lazy. Father, I've heard some talk of fear. Fear of God, of disease, and of death. Fear of the dark. A schoolmate said he was afraid of girls. What is this fear? The smithy is so tranquil and secure, I don't know myself. You'll have to leave home to learn what fear is. Some criminals are being hung at the gallows. You might learn about fear from them. We can't be surprised at the boy's stupid innocence, as the father seems less than a bright light. <laughs> so unfair. Sure we roughed up a priest who deserved it, insulted some nuns, banged a few heads for fun. Banged a few heads? Oh, that stupid bell. It's worthless. We're not morons, are we? So you were unjustly convicted of theft? Is that fear? No, that's wrong! Now we'll die for something we didn't Are do! Are you afraid of dying? I don't know yet. Being half dead isn't half bad. The boy gets no help from these mokes. Being half dead, dead ain't being half bad. The boy stops by a schoolyard where he helps solve the crime. <laughs> Look, here's the bell! It wasn't stolen off the wall! Those men weren't innocent! Those men were innocent! <laughs> We're all guilty of something, big man. It was purloined from my office and concealed in a sandbox to be retrieved at the later date. Oh, wet weaved. You're guilty of not going to school enough. I'll tell you that much. Or profit or both. The malefactor must be punished. Who would steal a stupid bear? A mischievous, evil, unredeemable, dirty minded pupil like you. Dang. All students will share the blame. Get in line for a whipping. That's not fair. Besides, it's clear who touched the bell last. Him. That man is an adult. And adults can't do wrong. Remember that. Look, the brass bell is tiny and the green stuff is rubbed off on the teacher's hands. Obviously, adults can do wrong. And fondle. I love that. And fondle. Ignorance is unimproved. Can no one and nothing teach this boy what fear is? He takes a peculiar job with the local royal who can spend the entire night among these dreadful, ugly ghouls and ghosts. They will leave my castle and family forever. Many others have tried and failed, fearing for their lives. Stay the course, and you can marry my daughter. Will I learn what fear is? Guaranteed. Oh no, King. Guaranteed. You in your majestic wisdom can err. I think we know where this is heading. Nothing frightens the boy, or not so he'll admit it. Ah, unfazed.
Oh damn, he shitted. A deafening sudden noise is shocking, certainly. And when one evacuates one's bowels on being shocked, he may mistake the cause as fear. So the boy, to my mind, never did learn what fear was. Title's kind of a misnomer. But it has a more sensible outcome than the brother's tale, where the lad supposedly learns about fear by learning to shudder. His wife dumps cold water down his pants while he's sleeping. Ah. Oh. Ain't no fun. Thick as a brick. You are thicker than a snicker. Heavier than a Chevy. Come here, little fatty. Let me rub upon your belly. All right, we're gonna make it stinky. We're gonna make it smelly, not stinky. Oh, I'm about to piss on all of you. Come here. I can literally piss on anything I want. It's the greatest thing ever. This game is really simple, but it's really addictive, kind of. Like, once you get in, it's like, it really triggers your uh, OCD a little bit. You want to get all of the stuff stinky. All of the ground, all of the buildings and dirt piles. Kind of pretty satisfying, if you think about it. It's really satisfying if you don't think about it. This person's on fire. There are a little bit of like glitchy spots. Like sometimes you'll get stuck up in a tree or like a... I don't know. It'll just... It'll really, it'll really mess you up sometimes. You get stuck in a tree. I'm gonna kind of try to go quicker through it, just to get through some of this. Like, I don't say useless stuff, but it's more, I don't, time-consuming rather than actually playing. I'm try, I'm gonna try to progress the story a little quicker this time. And there are there are more uh, acts, there are more stories. Um, so if you guys want more, just let me know in the comments. Um, they haven't came out with them yet, or that I know of. There's a website you can go to to actually see that stuff. This game is really fun, so I'm probably gonna play play more of it eventually. Those buildings just erected out of nowhere. There weren't buildings there before, but there are now. Easy. I'm a platforming god. Dang, he just got pounced. Fuck out of here! What do you mean? <laughs> that look he gave me. Like, I got a new record. The boy spent the night under the village gallows. Here's the story of a man who's being executed for a crime he didn't commit.
Whoa. That's a little bit close up. Hello, box man. Please don't clean my shit up. Now I smell it. Uh oh, we're almost to the stinky goal. See, like this, you can't move forward anymore, so it's it kind of bugs you out. Um, you just gotta you just gotta tr stop trying to walk forward and then hit the forward button again. I don't know why it does that. It just does that every now and then. What? The first time I tried this, I literally fell in the lava five times. Simplest platforming jumps there could be. Okay, this time it didn't turn into lava for some reason. Ah, oh, I guess it was water. I jumped into the water. Just like I almost did that time. That was so close. Oh, I didn't know I can control this. Can I? No. It was just going slow for some reason. There are secret coins that you can get. I don't think I'm gonna to try to get them all. It's just uh, it'll it'll if I try to get them all, it'd be like hour-long episodes, and I don't want to bog it down with uh, trying to get all the coins. That little dude was strong when he got evil. He went from struggling to booking that lever up. Ah, I see what you did there. That's hot. On to the next one. Whatever. No one found fear here, did they? Let's put a scare into these people. Make it stinky. Make it stinky. I will, little shit man. It's game on. You're cleaning nothing, lady. I turned you into a match. <laughs> Gotta get 20 of them. No problem. I can turn these little kids into a match. Now who's rotten? <laughs> now who's rotten? Still you, brother. Still you. Can I hit that kid? No. Oh, I did. Nice. Eight left. They're all over this way. Maybe I can get a like a four for... No. Did I? I got all of them. No, I didn't. I'm about to be awesome. Turns out I'm just dumb. There's one more. Where's he at? Where's the last kid at? Oh, he's hiding.
Look, let me show you something. He's right there. And he's right there. He's in both spots. That's the evilest thing I think I've ever seen in a video game. He literally burnt them over touching a bell. Trying to steal a bell, I guess. Maybe they used to do that when they were little. Or when they were little. <laughs> Back in the old days. Oh, like a wedding. Time to get a little poopy. You know what I'm saying? Gotta piss on everything. Gotta do a little bit of butt stomps. Gotta get all these birdies. Let's see how many I can get. Just one. Uh oh. Platforming skills coming into question. Nice. Oh, I'm not there yet. Oh. And I'm almost there. Right after that. Now I gotta climb all the way back up there for no reason. Oh, man. Finally back. It took us ages to get back. Uh, there we go. Where are you taking me? There's two more scenes. The music is just delightful. You know, that's how I feel like I would dance. Actually, that's how I dance to everything. I don't dance, I just move. Can I just piss on you guys? Let me just... You know. We almost got it done. We're almost stinky enough, guys. Get it? Ah, uh, we got it. The boy agrees to spend the night in the haunted castle. Courageous, plucky, or idiotic. You be the judge. Let's make sure he learns what fear really is. Make it nasty. Make it nasty. Make it make it nasty. Hey, that was creepy. Oh, hold on. Look at these things. They look like the things off of uh, Crash Bandicoot. Not those. Might not be in this level. I thought it was, though. Is it these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look like Uka Uka or something. Obdigaz. Most people call them. I'm not even close. Get away, kitties. Instead of kitties, now we got dogs. How delightful. Actually, I love my dog. 
can never go wrong with a pup. I do want them to stop cleaning. I wish my dog would clean stuff. Brother, chill out. I'm, br I'm butt stomping. You ain't got to tell me twice. Trust me. I'll butt stomp whatever you need me to. Oh, I was pissing. Of course, I just jump right in the lava and I come back pissing. Almost. What you didn't see is I had to change my pants in the middle of that. I was so scared. My chair is soaked. On to the next one. The final level. Make it stinky. I think this guy has a like a bladder issue because he can literally piss forever you know he's just like a stream of piss I'm butt stomping We're about to bust this gate open. Like it's nobody's business. How did I miss this one? The firing squad initiated. Will do, sir. We're about to f crash this wedding. These people don't even know. They don't know what's happening. Boink. They keep cleaning everything. It's about time. Stop it. I'm stomping. Oh, she's a pig now. Little piggy. He's crying. <laughs> he knows what fear is, finally. Make it nasty. One more big stomp. Actually, though. Come on. What do you mean? Hey, that sounds like one hell of a time to me. Oh, I just shit it. 
Damn, I can smell it through the computer, bro. That's crazy. Despite the title, we've seen that the boy was very well acquainted with fear. His pretended ignorance was youthful bravado and an effective ruse. An excuse to leave home and the unwanted supervision of his father. Father, why does everything frighten you? Are you a coward? Your questions, like you, are ignorant and worthless. Or I'm no coward. Fools do not fear the unknown. I fear God and the devil. Likewise, a sudden rise in the price of pig iron and the cost of bread. I feel you there. The king's help. My fear of siring a useless son is now proven. But since you don't fear my damn fear, those teeth, leave this place. Fine. I'll find out what is truly worthy of fear. This scene might strike. Fear in anything more sentient than a turkey vulture. Masses of humans dangling to death like discarded, rotted fruit. The bell thieving teacher deserved a whipping. That punishment fits the crime, but the crowd demanded more. Look at these bastard kids. Teach him a lesson. That thief must pay with his life. They all have the same the voice. He's gonna touch the chalk. Burn him at the stake. Damn, I'd be scared too. She's a piggy. Ain't nobody want to marry a pig. Finally, make some sense. The boy never volunteered to rid the castle of its demons. He was Shanghai. Shanghai. Damn that breath. <sighs> I'm not afraid of work. I'm afraid of you. I'm very afraid of something else. Oh, joy and pride. I'm right there with you, kid. Oh, God. That breathing. The groom needs a fresh set of drawers. And the bride could use some smelling salts. In the end, you'll excuse my expression. Note that the boy learned that fear has at least one thing in common with symptoms of pride. Both can make you piss your pants unexpectedly. Hey, <laughs> they can. May all our stories end. Oh, so I shouldn't. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Grimm. I really like this game. This game is funny. It has a little bit of storyline. It's, 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 art style is really good. The music is really good. The characters are funny. It's a really grim game. But overall, it was, it was funny. Uh, I like that you could pee everywhere just for no reason. Um, I like how it added a little farts every now and then. Like, Squall was a big fart in there during the cutscenes. Overall, I think it was a funny game. Uh, I think it's worth checking out. It's free on Steam, so if you want to go check it out and play it yourself, you can. Um, but that's going to be it, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe for more content like this and, and other stuff. Uh, we're going to start this thing on the weekends. It's going to be Scary Game Weekend or something. I'll come up with a name with it. If you have any names for it, let me know in the comments. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.